Well, I've, I've done a uh, video on macro mode and a video on cropping in. So today we're going to do a video about Coolpix A1000's Super Telephoto. We'll probably touch on a little bit of the, the math, the crop factor, converting the actual focal length to 35 millimeter equivalent because that's what a lot of us still think in. One website I found interesting is digicamdb.com and it has specs on the Coolpix A1000 and, and on its sensor in particular. Shows the, the actual size of the sensor, this green box here, and it, it lists a crop factor of 5.62. You multiply that factor by the focal length, say 4.3 millimeters at, at wide angle, and that gives you your 35 millimeter equivalent of 24 millimeters. Another helpful website in this regard is scantips.com. It has these nice calculators that you can use for calculating the 35 millimeter equivalent at any focal length. Put in the sensor dimensions and click compute and it, it gives you the crop factor 5.619. Down here you put in the the focal length and the crop factor and click compute and it will tell you the 35 millimeter equivalent focal length here. We change that focal length to 151 which is the maximum telephoto and that computes it out 848.5 millimeter. Some uh, photo editors, I'm using Corel's Paint Shop Pro. If you go to the EXIF tab, it will show that calculation. Here's the focal length at 4.3 and the 35 millimeter equivalent. This photo was done with a digital zoom, so it multiplies the maximum focal length of 151 times 4 and gives you 604 millimeter, but it doesn't incorporate that into the 35 millimeter focal length equivalent. Otherwise, that would read 3,360 millimeter. Here, I use red boxes to show how much zoom crops in on this church in the distance. To demonstrate super zoom at its closest focus, about two meters, I set up my camera on a tripod two meters from this tree. I have put a red X to show the point of interest or focus and then continued with the digital zoom at 1, 2, 3, and 4 X. Finally, I make a rough comparison between JPEG fine compression and RAW NRW files. At four times the size, the RAW file has obviously much more detail. 